Dear friends, good morning. On Wednesday the 27th of May, day 7 of Thy Kingdom Come. Our reading today is 1 John chapter 3 verses 16 to 18. We know love by this, that he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for one another. How does God's love abide in anyone who has the world's goods and sees a brother or sister in need and yet refuses to help? Little children, let us love, not in word or speech, but in truth and action. When St John says, dear children, he's speaking to everyone, all the children of God. He says we shouldn't just say we love people if we're not doing anything to show that love. That is, if we have material possessions and yet we don't show love and pity for our brother or sister. How is that love? Not to say that's the only way to love people, but it's a very practical way to love people. How generous are we as Christians? How caring are we as Christians? How hospitable are we as Christians, especially when it's not in our own self-interest? If we don't act, it's almost as if we think we deserve to be in a better position, because it's only by God's grace that we're not in the position of the one in need. Jesus himself says, For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. Everything that we do to people, we do as if we do it to Christ. Let's pray. Loving God, thank you for your costly love. May my five friends understand something of the strength of your love for them. Help us to use our resources well. How could you use what you already have to show others how alive and active the love of Jesus is?